Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5. I really can't say this is an educational video. Maybe you'll find some entertainment value in it. But I thought I'd share a little bit about myself. Um, um, for the lo longest time, I was really into martial arts. I took Taekwondo, took a few karate classes, uh, took one boxing class, and uh, I pretty much, at one point, knew all the martial arts teachers that were in my area. Uh, not on a personal level, but I could probably list them off to you. Um, and um, uh, this is a book that I made about ninja fighting arts, is what I called it. It's mostly Japanese martial arts. It uh, has a lot of ninja stuff in it. Uh, uh, I was really big into um, uh, Japanese royal culture and stuff. Uh, not so much anymore, um, but um, uh, for the longest time, ninjas were the cool thing. And uh, samurai swords, wakizashis, or katano, wakizashis, tantos, um, uh, Japanese history, Minamoto Masashi, Book of Five Rings, da 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 da. Uh, I was really into it. And, um, this is a book I made in high school, probably my freshman, sophomore year, and uh, I want to show you what's inside of it. I'm just going to show you what I was into during that time period, and maybe you'll find some humor in it. Um, first off, I got a, a few pages on uh, Japanese and uh, ninjutsu weapons, uh, the kunai knife, um, these are cow traps, uh, testa sabushi. I don't know if that's how you say it, but the basically cow traps, uh, wakizashi, shurikens, um, um, the barrel claws, tanto, and there was a little blurb about each weapon on the side of it. Mitsubishi or Mitsubishi, uh, katana, kanai again. Um, uh, this is something interesting. This is absolutely, completely worthless information for me because I'm never going to use it. But I felt the need to put it in this book. And as you can see there, it's poisons. And right there it says ninja poisons. And it has listed uh, some poisons that uh, ninjas supposedly use to assassinate people. Um, uh, and um, I don't know if this poison actually works. Never really intended. I have no intentions to use it. But I thought it was cool information because it's ninja stuff. And um, of course, this isn't necessarily ninja stuff. Denmark and uh, Kyosho, uh, Kaisho, um, vital points on the body. That's just pressure points, basically. Um, and. Um, I have the diagram of the human body with some pressure points in the Japanese uh, terminology. Um, front and back. Here's uh, some English pressure points, or pressure points with the English name and the effect that they have. So, obviously, the jaw and the chin. Uh, you can dislocate or break the jaw and it will render the person unconscious, neck and throat, um, you can crush someone's windpipe, solar plexus can cause a lot of pain, you can easily break the floating ribs, kidneys, if you've ever been hitting the kidneys you know that that hurts. Uh, growing is pretty obvious, uh, but you know, it's just a list of uh, uh, some pretty... Um, uh, well, some target areas and what would happen if you were to strike them. Um, here's some more uh, Japanese uh, uh, pressure points, terminologies, pressure points on the face. I'm going to go through this but pretty quickly because if not, it'll just take forever. More pressure points. Uh, uh, there's some uh, ninja chemistry, uh, Mitsubishi blinding powder, healing tea, uh, what is it? 
No oh, conditioning ligament. Um, flash bomb, smoke grenade, um, throwing grenade, um, and um, I was at one point in my life really big into pyro uh, technology. I wanted to be a pyrotechnician. Made my own stuff. Way stronger than what M80s ever wanted to be. But that's for another story. Um, here's the word stealth and what it stands for. Uh, stepping, touch, exhale, attention, listen, tolerance, and harmony. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is probably um, internet geeks that have nothing else better to do and probably don't know what they're talking about. But I ate it up. Um, here was a little article that someone wrote. Invisibility. You might see me, but can you perceive me? Basically saying that um, you can be seen, but if you're not perceived as a human or as a threat, then no one will notice you. Um, it's a pretty long article. Um, and it has some tips on how to not be so obvious. Um, and then there was the stealth thing again. Um, and it goes into depth what stealth means or what their acronym means. Um, Shuriken Jutsu. I was, I can't say really big into this, but I did have a um, piece of plywood that I practiced throwing uh, shurikens at. You know, ghetto shurikens. I had some pointless blades or the round uh, blades, but they had no points on them. But they still threw very well. You could stick them into plywood. I, I was very good at throwing those. And this is the bow looking throwing style. Uh, I, I used the ice pick because that was cheap and easy attainable. And I was also decent at that. Um, uh, the box of crickets. Uh, basically saying if you want to cover up your noise, carry a box of crickets with you and um, centuries won't pay attention to the chopping sound of crickets and uh, these are ways to take out centuries um, you know different places to stab and stuff would I ever use this? No I don't foresee myself taking out centuries but I thought it was core information uh, I wasn't planning to use any of this stuff as purely for educational purpose um, you know, um, I didn't have any, like, plans or anything like that to use this material. Here was an x-ray with different points on it. Don't know why I printed this out. Probably because it just looked cool, but um, it doesn't really say much about the points. It just says SP15 or whatever. I'm sure if you're an acupuncturist, you'll know what that means, but I don't. Um... Let's see, here's a list of the Japanese fighting arts, all the jutsus, and um, these are legitimate jutsus, not that Naruto crap, um, um, which I guess if you find entertainment in that, it's not crap, but you know, this is real stuff, not fiction. Um, different fists you can make. What is this? I don't know. Um, how to make nunchucks. I never actually made them, but I was going to at one point. And this is to strengthen your fingertips and your grip for uh, striking pr pressure points. Um, pretty self-explanatory. -ex rocks and sand. A uh, vase filled with water. You know, conditioning your hands. Um... Let's see, some more vital targets. As you see, there's a theme when it comes to pressure points and vital targets. Uh, I don't believe in uh, the touchless knockout or anything, uh, what Denmark tries to convince you of, but uh, there, are also, there is some truth to certain vital points. Um, and... Um, you just got to have to study it. I actually uh, signed up for anatomy and physiology class uh, like my senior year uh, to um, study into this a little bit more. Uh, 
and um, to you know see if there was any truth behind it. Um, more pressure points. Uh, more pressure points. How to grip a katana. How to make budget shurikens. And here's some more budget shurikens. And these are the blueprints for like legitimate different styles of shurikens that were actually that actually existed. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, some philosophical stuff. And I, yeah, you can see that. That's how to make some budget caltrops out of nails. Um, and that's it. I don't want this to be a long video, but I thought you might find humor in what I was interested in. Um, uh, you know, uh, this was a few years before YouTube, I think. And um, I was deeply interested in martial arts. Um, and um, I'm kind of floating away from Japanese martial arts. Uh, I'm getting more interested in Filipino martial arts and Western martial, martial arts. Um, but um, uh, that's it. Just <coughs> thought I'd show. <coughs> excuse me. Thought I'd show that to you. Uh, has no real educational value whatsoever. Well, this video has no educational value whatsoever, but I made a book. And I planned on making a book out of um, articles out of the Tactical Blade magazine. I wasn't going to publish it and use their information illegally. I just wanted it as a reference. Uh, they us the Tactical Blade magazine usually had some uh, how-to self-defense stuff or some demonstrations of self-defense concepts. And they also usually had an article about some sort of traditional ethnic knife. Like the Puko knife, the Karambit, the Navaja, um, let's see, the Bolo, you know, they had um, um, different uh, uh, ethnic knife um, uh, articles, and uh, I, was, I was thinking to myself, wow, it'd be cool if I can get those articles that I'm really interested in and make a book similar to this so I could reference them, um, you know, later, but not have to keep up with the whole entire magazine uh, or the collection of a whole entire magazine. Um, and then Tactical Blade magazine, may they rest in peace, went out of business. So, that's it. I hope you'll have a great day. I'm Asatsu5, and I'm out.